Visit ForkPitch.com for curated content in a culinary marketplace. Hi, I'm Chef Joby for Fork Pitch, and today I'm going to talk to you about scallops. Scallops are a shellfish, and they are really renowned um, for being one of those things that's very difficult to replicate how restaurants cook them at home. They overcook really easily. They get undercooked very easily as well. They are hard to get that proper temperature and get that really nice restaurant crust and flavor into the scallops. Scallops, when they're frozen, can contain a chemical additive called sodium tripolyphosphate. Um, this is really notable because this is a common additive in frozen seafood and it increases water retention and makes the seafood look really plump and juicy. Um, the reason I kind of bring this up is it's an additive that's a little lesser known about. It's something that people are now discovering because there are allergies emerging for it. And I wanted to mention it because I also am allergic to sodium tripolyphosphate and it can make handling frozen seafood really difficult and really annoying, um, especially when I'm just doing it at home. A frozen scallop, what you want to do in terms of prep is you want to kind of defrost them ahead of time and you also want to get them onto a paper towel like I have and you want to make sure that both sides are dried at some point because you want as much water off of the scallop as possible. Water when you are searing, when you're trying to put a crust on a product is the absolute enemy. Um, it will create steam which will prevent that nice caramelization and prevent you from getting a really nice restaurant quality scallop. The other thing is when you are prepping scallops is most scallops come with almost all their muscles taken off. They're almost completely ready to go, except for most scallops also come with this little abductor muscle. And this is a no bueno. The abductor muscle of the scallop is tough. It does not taste good. And you will see it right on the side. It kind of protrudes out and it's super easy to take off. You literally just take your finger and just rip it right off. And that'll put your scallops ready to go um, for searing and for whatever app their application you'd like to use. Some chefs I know have retained this to make like a scallop style stock. I've also known a couple line cooks who will just eat the abductor muscles, which is very strange for me, but generally you can just discard them. They're not super valuable. They're not something that is really prized and they don't have a ton of distinct flavor on their own. Um, that being said, these scallops have now dried on both sides. They have had their abductor muscles removed. They are ready to be seared and we are gonna go do that now. So to make a restaurant quality scallop, we are going to cook it in brown butter and then we're going to butter baste it. And so what that does is it creates a nice crust on the bottom of it and then you put the warm butter over the top so you get a nice crust on the top of it and it also allows it to cook through very evenly. Um, initially I made a little bit of like a Yucatan Peruvian style salsa over here with a lime supreme, mango, red onion, some vinegar, and mob oil and that's going to just accompany the scallop and give a nice acidic light flavor to go with it. Um, starting off with this, it's just going to dice some butter and this is really, butter is kind of the secret of a lot of restaurant dishes. It's what gives them a ton of flavor, it's what gives them a ton of color, it gives them a unique flavor. I'm just going to alternate my knife skills here and just make some butter chunks. This doesn't have to be super precise because we are going to melt it, but I'm going to reserve um, probably about a third of the stick in the corner. And I'll explain that in a little bit. Basically, it's spring mount temperature. This can go up to full heat, high, butter goes in the pan. You want to do a couple pieces at a time. Make sure you're not overwhelming your pan. If you need to reserve some extra butter, because this pan is a little small, um, that's fine as well. Works great. Um, so we're we'll gonna get the butter melted down. And I'm swirling here to make sure that it's evenly melting and I'm not just getting like a clump of butter that's one temperature and a clump of butter that's another temperature. Another trick I have seen when it comes to scallops like this, I actually learned this from one of my teachers, my culinary uh, professor all the way back in high school, as she would do this and she would actually add a little bit of a high smoke point oil and what that did is gave her a lot more control over the butter processy and gave her a lot more control over the sear. Um, and it's nice that way because then you have, le you have less room for error. You don't have to do things immediately. Um, you're not going to burn in two seconds. So that's another good little trick if you're a little less confident than just doing this with pure butter. But I'm going to do it with pure butter because I've been trained to do it. And this is actually one of the first things I learned when I went to restaurants. My butter is melting. Butter solids are getting nice and caramelized. I'm gonna wait for this to get a little hotter and a little more color before I drop the scallop in. And 
I'm gonna wait to season these just because I don't want any of the liquid leaching out of the scallop. If that does happen, it'll create water coming out of the scallop and that'll create steam, which is the opposite of caramelization. So the edge of the pan is just starting to brown. There's just a little bit of the butter solids getting brown. And so I'm gonna take the, my two scallops and I wouldn't recommend doing more than two or three at a time unless you're really experienced. I'm gonna put them both here. And now I'm gonna move the pan to the center so that it's getting more of the heat and letting the initial thing sit. Um, after this, they sit for about 10 seconds, so you don't wanna let them go much longer because the butter will burn. I'm gonna take a spoon here and I'm just gonna go over the top. And I'm gonna change my stance because I'm gonna be here a little bit and we're just gonna butter base the hell out of these scallops. Tilting the pan down, and then making sure they're cooked through up top side by moving this uh, hot fat over the top consistently. I'm gonna turn my temp down and it's a little, little bit too hot, so it's about to burn, so that's why we kind of reserve some of the butter. By putting two more little pieces in there, I'm gonna maintain the temperature I want, and that way the scallops aren't gonna overcook or burn, and the butter's not gonna burn, giving the nasty burnt flavor to the scallops. So this just goes over, basting is literally, you just pull your pan, tilt it slightly down, grab it from the bottom, put it over the top of the seafood kind of relaxing in a way. It's less relaxing when you're behind the scallop ticket and a chef is screaming at you and you're trying not to burn yourself on butter the entire time. And temperature's a little high again, so we're gonna add just another stick of butter and probably two little pieces actually. Making sure again that that's not gonna burn. And you wanna keep around this dark caramel color, you don't want it to go any darker. I just killed my heat, turned it much lower because the butter was overcooking at a really fast rate. I'm gonna add one more little piece of butter again, just to make sure that I keep around that right temperature because you want a brown butter flavor, you don't want a burnt flavor. And I was really close to burning right there. Okay, so these are coming through. I'm seeing butter in all the crevasses. I'm poking them a little and they have a little more firmness to them. All of them are coated. I'm gonna flip the scallop here, and you can see that there's nice caramelization on the bottom of the scallop where they went in the hot pan. I'm just gonna let the bottom sit for a second. I'm gonna kill the heat. And then I have some cut up limes here, and those are really important, again, for regulating your heat. That's the big thing with cooking, like with this style method, is you wanna squeeze them on top of the scallops so they don't go straight in the, um, straight in the pan and like spit at you, but you just wanna bring down the temperature of the heat so the scallops uh, don't overcook or keep cooking at all. I'm gonna take this off heat now. Always have a towel with you. A little more in the kitchen. And so we have a nice dark scallop color. The butter is just on the edge of being like really, really dark. It's not burnt, but it is definitely brown and caramelized. And that's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna take this and I'm literally just gonna take them off with my little tongs here. It's right into the cutting board. So that goes down, we have tongs, and we're gonna flake these up. So for plating in the scallop, I'm not gonna do anything super fancy. I have a little bit of my Yucatan salsa here. Um, it's lime supreme, some red onion, some mango. I use some lemon verbena and herb, olive oil, and that's just gonna accompany the scallop. And I really wanna make sure that something doesn't overwhelm the dish. Scallops are delicate. They're light. You want something acidic. You want something light. You do not want a bully that is just going to take away all that delicate flavor. Alrighty. Move things around so that they're easy. Alright, um, so I'm just going to take this and put it right on the side of the dish here. Move my onion over a little bit. And this one's a little fancy. I like it. I have lemon mango. Lemon verbena and mango, and that's going to be really lovely, light, acidic. I'm just going to take one of my scallops, that right there, hit it with a tiny bit of lime juice, always. Hit it with just a dash of good olive oil. And then thin plate. Make sure everything is neat, everything is tight. You always want to clean the sides of your plates before you present something. Makes the dish look so much better just having a white plate. There you go. Restaurant style seared scallops.
got my scallop here. I am going to just take it and I'm going to slice it right down the middle. And as you can see, it is perfectly cooked. It is just slightly, slightly, slightly translucent. If I take it to my lip, it is warm on the inside. If I was to temp that, it would probably be right around 140, um, which is just perfect. I'm going to taste the scallop by itself. Mmm. It's light. It's delicate. The acid gives it a lot of flavor. The butter gives it so much of that nutty butter flavor. It's not overcooked. It's perfectly temped. Yeah, that's... I'm really happy with that. That is a good scallop. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. And with the, the salsa I made, sweetness really complements the delicate flesh of the scallop. It has a nice umami cut by the citrus. It's just a delicious summer dish that I'd be happy to eat pretty much any day, even outside of summer. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna eat the rest of this. This video is a Fort Pitch production in conjunction with Midwest Digital AV Incorporated. Midwest Digital AV Incorporated provides audio, video, streaming, and production services throughout the Midwest. Please visit them at MidwestDigitalCorp.com.